Back now on uh, Try Today, this whole program has sort of been themed around uh, community service, people doing things for other people, volunteering, making donations, and I think this, this fits in well with that, because next to me is a very special guest who's been with us many times before. Here he is, Dana Conti, is Director of Donation Services for Goodwill Industries of Northwest North Carolina. Welcome back to the program, sir. Yes, great to be here. Thank you. I'm going to start out with a stupid question. Here we are in the throes of the holiday season. Uh, what are your expectations in terms of uh, donations? Are they, are they going to be up? Are they down? What happens during the holidays? Well, we certainly hope they're up. Uh, but typically at the end of the year, the last couple of days of the year is, uh, is a high volume day. Um, you know, just everyone trying to, at the end of the year, get the closets clean to uh, make room for the new stuff they just got, I guess, and, uh, and certainly take advantage of the ta tax advantage, the write-offs. Well, that's true. I didn't think about that. There is a tax advantage to doing that. And you guys will always give out little slips people can fill out and use for their tax return. How, how are you planning to handle the, uh, and you cover a, a, wa a vast region, Northwest North Carolina, uh, how do you handle the, the additional inventory of donations? Well, um, we're set for that. So particularly at the end of the year, we'll take administrative staff and others. We'll work the last few days of the, of the year. Um, and, uh, you know, we, because it's, we've been doing this for a long time, we anticipate it. We'll gear up uh, with staff, um, you know, with our internal staff. Any special holiday hours or anything people no, should know about? No, we, we are uh, open up until 8. Uh, every more, or every, up till 8 every evening, and uh, it's just standard hours, 1 to 6 on Sundays. Uh, let me ask you, are there, and, and we've talked about this before, not just around holiday times, but uh, sometimes these needs change, so let me ask you again. Uh, are there any items in particular that you think Goodwill needs more of now than they normally don't get? Yeah, I appreciate that. Uh, we're always looking for men's clothing. Uh, that's always been a challenge for us to keep uh, in inventory, as well as... Um, you know, warm clothes this time of year, seasonal goods throughout the year. Overcoats, gloves. Overcoats, yeah, it's always yeah. a great need. Even blankets, comforters, things of that nature. And uh, we didn't uh, talk about this before we started the segment, and I'm just wondering, uh, you, you will also take larger items, certain types of furniture and appliances and whatever. Now, are they, are they donated differently? Are they picked up differently? Is there a service to pick things up if they're large items or what? Yeah, so we have, we're set up several ways. We have what we call our attended donation centers throughout the area that make it convenient for people to donate, where we have an attendant working those trailers that you may see sitting in the parking lot, so we can give a personal thank you and assist those people who are making donations with those items to get them into the trailer. Right. Uh, also, the stores. We will take um, all those types of goods. You know, we just want things that are in good condition. Sometimes we have to remind people we're not a refuse company. Right. Um, if it's we, something larger, I mean, can I, can I call Goodwill and say, hey, look, I, I have no way of getting this refrigerator or this dining room table to you. Can yep. you? Appreciate you asking that. Yeah, we have our home pickup line uh, that you could call or go online and schedule online home pickups. We have two men in the truck basically to come out and get that stuff from uh, the upstairs to the downstairs. Wow. Now, um, this is something we've talked about before, but it, you, you never can say it enough. People say, well, okay, well, I'll go donate something, but it's no big deal. I'll drop some things off. I mean, but the thing is, these, these items then end up in your retail stores and you sell the items, so now they're affordable for somebody to come in and buy that overcoat that I've just donated, all right? So they get an over, overcoat yep. at a, a reasonable price. But the money from the sale of that overcoat does what? Yeah, there's two big takeaways in what you just mentioned. One is that I always remind people the, do, the mission doesn't end when the donation is made. In fact, that's when the mission begins. We take those donations, transform them into revenue through our stores. And what I love about Goodwill is it's an international brand that gives confidence to people who donate and everything stays local. So not only did that donation get made local, got bought local, but the revenue that's transformed from that donation helps people who are local. So and you it's, do it's just a local workforce development programs, and job training, and all these things for people, and that's funded by these. That, that's Correct. just great. Yeah. Up on screen, uh, www.goodwillnwnc.org. Please check that out for the radio listening audience, goodwillnwnc.org. Dana Conte, thanks for all you do, sir. I uh, appreciate you, Jim. Thank all right, you. man. It's good to see you. We'll be right back after this.